In this video, we'll show you how to replace the front and rear indicators on your bike and how to replace the relay as well. So the indicators we're using are the black LED ones with a mesh grill. The brighter, longer lasting and use less current draw. They've got three wires on them. The black is the earth, the red is the live, and there's a yellow one as well. That's just a dimmer live so we can pretend that one doesn't exist. So the tools you need for this job are a Phillips screwdriver, a 13 mm socket and ratchet, some pliers, a 17 mm spanner and a 14 mm spanner. Start by loosening your rear indicators. This makes it easier to remove them once the bracket's off. To do this, use a 14 mm spanner. Next, you want to remove your seat. Get a 13 mm socket and remove the bolt that holds the seat and the indicator bracket in place. Then repeat the process on the other side. Now lift the rear of the seat up. Oh, bloody hell. Now lift the rear of the seat up and pull it back to remove it. Now unplug all the bullet connectors under the seat. You can now feed the wire through and pull off the old indicators. Then remove the old indicators off the bracket. Then loosely fit the new indicators and just nip the nut up by hand. With some of the indicators, the bullet connectors are slightly smaller than the old ones. This ain't a problem at all. You can just get yourself some pliers and close the gap slightly on the connectors on your bike. Now route the new indicators through the same way as your old ones. Once they're all routed through, you want to plug them in. The black wires connect to the green double connector on your bike. The red wire on your right indicator plugs into the sky blue connector. The red wire on your left indicator plugs into the orange connector. Make sure them connectors are firmly in place, then you can put your seat back on. You want to put the front of your seat under the lip on the frame and then push the back down until it lines up. Loosely fit the seat bolt on one side with the indicator bracket. Then go to the other side and tighten the bolt up. Then go back to the original side and tighten that bolt up. Next, you want to position the indicators so that they're level and then tighten them up with your 17 mm spanner. Well that's the rear indicators fitted, now to move on to the front ones. Start by loosening the indicators with a 14mm spanner. Then with a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws securing the headlight lens in place. Now remove the lens. Next unplug the indicators. They'll be plugged into the green, sky blue and orange bullet connectors inside the headlight housing. Now 
Now feed the wires through and remove the indicators. Just like you did with the rear ones, get some pliers and slightly close the gap on the bike's connectors. This will be on the green one, the orange one and the sky blue connector. Now you want to remove the nuts and washers off the new indicators. When fitting the indicators, feed the wires through the hole first, followed by the washer, then the nut and just nip the nut up by hand. Feed the wires through into the headlight housing. Once you've done that, you're plugging them in. Plug the black wires into the green connector on the bike and then the red wire from the right indicator into the sky blue connector and the red wire from the left indicator into the orange connector. Then fit the headlight lens back on, ensuring you go over the lip at the top and clip it in place making sure you don't trap any wires. Then loosely fit the screw on one side with a Phillips screwdriver. Then go to the other side and tighten the screw on. Then go back to the first side and tighten the screw up. Make sure your indicators are level and then tighten them up with your 17mm spanner. Next is to see if all the indicators work and they're at the correct flash rate. They should flash between 60 and 120 times per minute. So count how many times it flashes in 15 seconds. If it's more than 30 or less than 15, then you need to replace the relay. Sometimes they might even stay on permanently. If this happens, don't worry, you've not done anything wrong. It just means you need to put a relay on that's got the right flash rate for these indicators. We sell LED relays for this very reason. If your flash rate is okay, then brilliant, you're finished. If not, then you need to replace the relay. To do this, start by removing the right hand side side panel. Pull back at the top and lift up at the bottom to clear the little plastic lug. Just to the left of your battery is the indicator relay. Take it off the little tab and then unplug it from the connector. Then plug the new LED relay in. Put it back onto the tab. Then put the side panel back on. Now test that your indicators are flashing at the right speed. If so, then you're all done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. And if you're after more content, please support us on Patreon. The more patrons we have, the more content we can create. Now lift the rear of the seat up. Oh, bloody hell.